Today, Victor Webb and Yama and LeBron James are going to race to see who becomes the GOAT first. But at the beginning of each year, they'll compete in the challenge to help them go from 40 to 99 overall. The winner of the challenge will spin from the Guru that gives a 60% chance of a good upgrade, a 30% chance of a mid upgrade, but a 10% chance of a great upgrade. And the loser will spin from the Bad Will that gives you a 60% chance of a mid upgrade, a 30% chance of a good upgrade, but a 10% chance of a downgrade. As soon as LeBron and Victor hits 99 overall, the challenges will stop, and the first one to win six championships will be crowned the GOAT. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Also, follow my Twitch and Twitter. I stream every week at 11 a.m. and I tweet a lot about basketball. Okay, let's go. All right, well, let's get into the first challenge for LeBron and Webby to complete stop Prime Curry. We're going to have LeBron go first. I hope Steph just doesn't just straight pull it. Well, oh, that's technically a stop. He didn't get the rebound, but it doesn't matter. He's not going to get possession back. Let's see if Webby gets bailed out the same way LeBron did here. You got to check it up quick, and then Curry just going to chuck up a three. And he bricks him. I get his own rebound, though. Take it to the basket. Throws it down. So LeBron's going to win this first challenge. So let's see what LeBron gets here on his first potential upgrade. Maybe a good upgrade. Okay, that's kind of a mid one plus MLP playmaking bubble taking. That got LeBron to a 41 overall. Now let's see what Victor's going to get. You can still get a good upgrade here on the on the, uh, sorry, on the bat wheel. But okay, you got a mid upgrade plus $10 shooting. So even though Victor actually lost the challenge, he still went up one overall just like LeBron. Let's see what happens in year one for LeBron and Wemby. Embiid wins a fake MVP. I actually think he deserved it. I'm just trolling. But anyway, the Spurs were the worst team in the league. And the, uh, I don't know where the Cavs were. They were also probably pretty terrible. Wait, they were. All right, they actually have a good team. I'm dumb. I don't know why I thought that. And LeBron and Wemby didn't play a single minute, so obviously we're not going to watch playoffs yet. It doesn't matter. They're not playing. And the Bucks went ahead and won it all. Didn't lose in the first round this time. LeBron's up to a 44 overall. And Wemby only went up to a 42. I guess the playmaking helped out LeBron more. Let's see if Wemby can bounce back in this next challenge. We got score on Taco Fall. That should be easy for both of them. All right, well, let's see if Victor can score on Taco Fall here. Victor driving to the basket, going right up. And he smoked it. Well, let's see if LeBron can do it. LeBron trying to drive on Taco. He's 7 7. Kind of hard there. Got position. Lays it up and in. LeBron wins back to back challenges, which I thought Victor would get most of it because he's 7 5. He has a big advantage with them both being 40 overall. But again, even if you lose a challenge, you could still keep pace with the wheel blessing you. Plus one, the all shooting badge. That's a good upgrade for LeBron. He only went up one overall, but he's sort of building that foundation, getting all these badges. So it's a good start. And let's see if Victor can get lucky here on the bad wheel. What do we got here? Plus 20 to all defense. He got a good upgrade on the bad wheel. Wow, that's amazing. It's only about a 30% chance to get a good upgrade on the bad wheel, but he went and got it, and he's almost a 50 overall because of it. Let's see what happens in year two. Giannis with an MVP. I hope this actually happens. And the Cavs are the two seed. Meanwhile, the Spurs are probably still the worst team in the league. And although oh, no, actually the 12 seed, not bad. Wemby and LeBron still have not played a minute yet. And the Cavs actually went ahead and won the championship. This does not count toward LeBron's legacy. This means absolutely nothing. You got Garland dropping 37 and 13, bro. You did nothing. LeBron's now a 48. And those defensive upgrades did a lot for Wemby. He's up to a 52. Let's see if we can get our first 1v1 of the video. Haven't gotten that yet. And right on time. All right, a good 1v1. LeBron trying to drive to the basket here, lays it up. Yeah, I don't know how he's going to get one layup over a 7-5 guy. It's just, just going to be hard. And especially when he just got his new defensive ad. And Victor going to the post, working spin, lay. Yeah, you're not going to stop that. Victor driving, lay. That's not, nah, I mean, you can't even, you can't guard that. <laughs> That's impossible. LeBron drive. Yeah, it's, every layup is ugly. Victor going for the game winner. Oh, well, he, yeah, wow, he didn't even jump and tip that back in. Let's see what upgrade Victor's got going his way. He's going to go ahead and get. He got a mid-upgrade plus five shooting badge points. Not bad, but, you know. Here's Victor with his shooting badges. And now let's see if LeBron gets the same luck that Victor got on the last bad wheel spin. Plus $10 shooting. That's a mid-upgrade, but, I mean, it's, at least it's not a downgrade. And that got LeBron to a 52, so we're all tied up again. I don't know why his year's pro is on one when he hasn't played a minute yet. I'm going to put that back down to zero. Let's see what happens in year three. Shea with an MVP. Cavs are the best team in the East. Meanwhile, the Spurs are... Where are you guys at? The 13th seed. No minutes for LeBron or Victor yet. And the Pistons Pistons won the championship. Okay. Victor made his way to a 55. And LeBron's also at a 55. So we're all tied up again. And again, if I am LeBron, I want to avoid these 1v1s as much as possible. But I guess here we go for Victor again. Let's see if LeBron could just score once on Wemby. Just, oh, might have got position. Not a bad finish from James. LeBron driving again. It's, oh my, he, he just keeps bumping him down under the baseline. That, that does, that's a good strategy. That's like what Kenny Lofton was doing to Victor there in that one game. He was like 17 or 16, something like that. James looking for that third bucket. Oh, he just had the angle. And then he did a... Weird snatch back. Victor's going to get the rebound, put it back up, and then we got a tie game. Next one score wins. Victor, tween, tween, hezzy. Going to drive and get position, lay it up easy, and Victor's going to win it again. LeBron put up a good fight, though. Let's see if Victor can get a good upgrade this time. He's going to go ahead and get, there you go, plus 20 all shooting. That, that's pretty good. And that brought Victor up to a 60 overall. Let's see if the bad wheel can bless LeBron here. What do we got? Plus 10 all physicals. That's solid. I mean, it's not a good upgrade, but we'll take it. You know, at least it's not a downgrade. And by we, I mean LeBron. I'm a big fan of root for the underdog, and in this case, it's the guy who's 6'9", not 7'5". But Victor's got a strong lead right now. Let's see what happens. Giannis with an MVP. The Cavs are the second seed, and the Spurs are somehow in the playoffs. Look at that. Wemby and LeBron still have not played a minute yet. We're still waiting. Probably another two years, I would assume. And the Cavs win the championship, so LeBron has two fake rings. Well, he's got one in real life. I'm kidding. Okay, a bubble ring. Okay. I don't even know why I just did that. I was like, that wasn't even that fun. That wasn't even funny. I was just, I'm just being an asshole.
So, all right, let's, let's just go. Anyway, Wemby's up to a 64. And LeBron's up to a 60. Even though he lost two straight challenges, he's right behind him. LeBron is on his knees right now, praying for not another 1v1. Okay, score on prime Kawhi Leonard. That's going to be tough. LeBron trying to drive her, get position. That's a travel. And he missed it, so that was a waste of time. Victor has he tween cross. Got stopped, so at least LeBron's getting another chance. If he would have made that, I was about to say. Oh, and he, yep, there, yep, that's, that's awesome, dude. Yo, he actually almost made that. He actually isn't a bad shooter. There you go. Victor going to work there. Big Why are y'all trolling? All right, LeBron, your third chance here. Trying to get position, and you just got clamped, and Kawhi yammed it. Victor, whenever you feel like ending it, bro, just let me know. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> that was, he literally just tween tween as he crossed his way to the basket at 7-5. Let's see if Victor can get himself a nice upgrade here. What do we got? Wow, that's a bad... I mean, not a, it's a mid-upgrade plus 5 finishing badge points. There's no bad upgrades. Victor stayed at a 64, but he's still building that foundation. And let's see if LeBron can get himself some luck here. What do we... Oh, he almost, he almost got minus 1 to all badges. That would have been terrible, but he, got the, he actually got a good upgrade. LeBron didn't go up it overall, but now he has every single shooting and playmaking badge in the game. If you were curious, LeBron's still a reserve, and Victor's also a reserve. Let's see what happens. Shea with another MVP. The Spurs and Cavs are a relevant basketball team. And we're still waiting on that NBA minute for Victor and LeBron. And the Thunder went ahead and won the whole thing. Shea building a GOAT conversation for himself. Victor up to a 68. And LeBron up to a 64. Are we gonna get another 1v1 here? What do we got here? And we, yeah, okay, we're gonna get another 1v1. <laughs> I thought we were gonna get stopped prime harder right there. Victor trying to drop... I'm about to, okay, he's gonna get the rebound anyway, but like that layup is just so unfair in the first place. Victor trying to post up here. Nothing really there for him. Goes up. I mean, everything's there for him. He's 7 5. Oh, he is just babying you right now. Oh, this is nasty. Oh, he hit you with the same baseline. Cheese, man. That's nasty. Another upgrade for the great Victor Webb and Yama. What do we got? Now? Okay, he finally got himself a good upgrade on the Goodwill, plus 20 to all defensive attributes. This man has become a god tier defender for his height. And LeBron will need a huge bailout from this wheel. What do we got here? Okay, at least it's not a downgrade, but we'll take plus 10 to all finishing. LeBron got some nice finishing at it, but he's got a long way to go. And surprisingly, Victor's still in reserve, but that'll probably change by next year. LeBron is nowhere close. Let's see what happens. Bronny with an MVP before his dad. The Cavs fell down to the 12th seed. Meanwhile, the Spurs are the 8th seed. I'm surprised Victor didn't get a single minute, but I guess neither did LeBron. Yeah, okay, shocker there. And the Rockets went ahead and won it all. Bronny James getting a championship. Well, actually, no, his dad got two fake rings, but whatever. LeBron's up to a 68, still the worst player on the team. And Victor is a 76 and probably gonna start getting minutes. So these rings will start counting. So LeBron's gotta start winning some of these challenges. What do we got next? Stop Prime Mel. And Melo just retired recently. Bron's gonna go first. Get a stop. Just keep Melo out of that post or just let him blow right by you. Melo trying to drive here. Melo go into the basket. Gets blocked. Got his own rebound. He's still in it. And he throws it down. Okay, there you go. We're still in it here. Well, not we. I'm trying. Again, I have a hard time not rooting for the underdog. I can't help it, bro. Melo trying to. I don't think LeBron's ever going to get the stop. Melo going to go to work in the post against 7 5 Webby. Not the best idea. Pump fake and nowhere to go. Dude, Melo's tough. At least Wemby's holding his own. LeBron can't even stay in front of him off a blow-by. He still can't. Carmelo Anthony, one of the most gifted scorers of all time, driving to the basket here. Dude, he is making everything. Melo, gonna work in the post here. Post fade. He missed it. Go get the ball, LeBron. Oh, my God. It took like 15. I don't know how many it took, but it took forever so, for someone to get a stop. And LeBron gets bailed out by a mellow post fade plus 20 to all finishing. LeBron's up to a 72, and that's going to help big against Victor in those 1v1. But let's see what Victor's potential upgrade or downgrade is going to be. Okay, he got a mid-upgrade plus five shooting badge points. Nothing much. And that kept him out of 76. Wemby is now starting for the Spurs, and LeBron's still in reserve, but he's so close to making the rotation. Let's see if Wemby gets rookie of the year. Isaiah with an MVP. Cavs with the best team in the East, and the Spurs with the second best team in the West. And Victor finally got some minutes putting up eight points a game, five rebounds and shot better from three than from the field for a 7-4 guy. 7-5 is insane. And LeBron is still yet to play a single minute. We got a close one here in game seven around one. Oh, that's a great shot, guys. Yeah, that, that's a really good shot, especially not having one of your best players on the court right now who's 7-4 and can hit a three. Victor's going to be inbound in the ball. Right in the Collier. Collier just going to pull a contested three and bricks it. That's a great play, man. And Victor had an underwhelming first playoff run, shooting 25% from three. The Mavs will go ahead and win it all. Anthony Black getting in a finals MVP. Victor's made his way to an 81 overall. And LeBron's a 75. Probably still doesn't make his rotation yet. I think LeBron would actually do well in a 1v1 now with his new finishing ability. Almost got the score on Taco Foul Challenge, but we got another 1v1. Victor driving to the basket. Is he faster than LeBron right now? I think he actually might be. What? This man's pulling out spin move floater? Yeah, I don't know what you're trying to do, bro. LeBron's guarding that. 
Okay, well, he can't guard that. Victor looking to end the game here. He literally just speed boosted past LeBron and laid it in. I, I just, there's nothing you can do about that, bro. Let's see what upgrades got in store for Victor here. What do we got? Plus four. Wow, he actually got a mid upgrade. Victor's got a lot of badges, man. Looking good. And let's see if LeBron can get lucky here on the bad wheel. What do we got here? Plus 10 to playmaking. Okay, at least not a downgrade. That brought LeBron to a 76. And LeBron's the 12th man in the rotation. Still not getting minutes. And Wemby isn't starting anymore, so that's tough. Ian Jackson dropping 32 a game. The Cavs are the two seed, and the Spurs are the four seed. Wemby had a great year dropping 16 and 8 and shooting nearly four. 48% from three. And this man, LeBron, got traded to the Warriors for Zach Levine and Caleb Martin. What a trade. And LeBron had a good year dropping 10 a game, I guess, for his first year. He didn't really shoot that well, but still. And Wemby's playoff run's gonna fall short, getting swept by the Thunder here, where the MVP dropped 48 to close him out. And Wemby had a much better playoff appearance than last year. The Thunder went ahead and won the whole thing, too. Ian Jackson's just all in one. Wemby's almost the best player on this team, and LeBron's almost at an 80. He's got a lot of work to do. Let's see what we got next on the challenge work for LeBron and Victor. Stop prime Durant. That should be tough. Wemby inbounds the ball KD going to work driving to the basket okay there's a stop LeBron does have a chance to respond let's see if he can play some defense Durant gonna work on the post post fade it's off rebound LeBron we got sudden death now Durant has he tween Durant through the legs driving to the basket here lays it up gets blocked by Victor and that is tough this would be a big bucket for Victor Durant driving and there's the blow by okay well Victor wins this challenge as well let's go in and see what good upgrade or potential mid upgrade he gets plus 20 to all physicals this man Victor's about to be nasty Victor's got some speed now he's an 88 let's see what's in story for LeBron on the bad wheel we got oh he almost got a good upgrade but we'll take plus 10 not we you, you know what I mean we're getting root for the underdog you got it and that put LeBron up to an 82 LeBron's got the starting job and so does victor let's see what happens this year Wemby's teammate with an mvp the spurs are the first seed and golden state is the worst team in the league Wemby dropped the cool 19 and 11 shooting 45 percent from three and this man lebron got traded again for kevin porter jr and sabonis this man lebron's getting thrown around but he had a great year even better than Wemby dropping 24 a game wow and Wemby was able to take his team to the conference finals but it's over here he got dropped off by Bronny, and the hawks won the whole thing taylor hendrick's finals mvp Wemby's now up to a 92 overall and lebron's up to an 86 he is not that far behind. He just has to win a challenge and get a good spin, which won't happen if this lands on 1v1. So, okay, stop Giannis. Let's see if LeBron can hold his own against Giannis, and I was just already wrong. So, if Victor gets a stop, then he, he wins again. Giannis trying to drive here, looking for the angle, going up, gets blocked again. Giannis with the pull. What the hell was that shot? Gets his own rebound, throws it down, bro. Oh, he missed it. Wow, how do you miss that? That was kind of a LeMickey win for Victor. I just said LeMickey out loud. That's fine, okay? Plus that no defensive, that's a mid-upgrade. I don't think Victor's going to need any more defensive upgrades. I think he's fine. And let's see what LeBron's going to get hit with here. We got plus five over... <laughs> I, listen, it's the bad wheel for a reason. So we got to put him up to a 97 until he at least hits 97. Six and then minimum 97. There you go. I guess that's for the people who thought the bad wheel was doing nothing all video. That, that That's a game changer, man. And shout out LeBron for giving that overall boost. Victor's your MVP. And he's your DPOI. He's probably going to hold that award forever. At least LeBron made third team. Burr's got the first seed and the Nets are the fifth seed. LeBron had a great year too. Just obviously not that MVP year. I mean, he almost averaged a triple double. He probably will eventually. LeBron's about to get gentlemen swept here by the Heat. Anthony Edwards dropping him off. He had a solid playoff run nothing crazy and victor got stopped again in the conference finals game six the mvp victor had a solid run but again nothing crazy i mean shooting 50 percent from three is kind of crazy though and the thunder win the whole thing ian jackson finals mvp he's been killing it victor's up to a 98 overall and lebron's up to a 90 he's got to hurry up before these challenges wear off lebron needs to pray for a win and a downgrade for victor score on prime Kawhi. we already had this before lebron trying to drive here nothing there that's just a <laughs> okay you're alive let's see if victor does the same thing victor Oh, what a strip. No. Oh, my God. Well, we're in sudden death. So the first person Kawhi stops is going to be the loser. LeBron working on the post. Pump faking going. How does... Le I, I swear to God, he's on Hall of Fame. Victor going back to that post. Of course, he is. Shocker. Post hook? Of course he makes it. No way LeBron makes this. There's no shot. Okay, there you go. Well, LeBron, you had your chance, buddy. This upgrade should get Victor to a 99 overall. Like, you already, like, like, bro, like, you already got there, bro. You didn't need this. I'm just going to raise all the stats up by 10. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There you go. So, since Victor hit 99 overall, there's going to be no more challenges. But LeBron can still naturally get to a 99 overall. It just might not happen. And he got plus one to all finish it. LeBron's got a good amount of badges. Just got to go win some rings. You're just going to be at a severe overall disadvantage. Victor with another MVP. And LeBron's in Houston. Bro, this man, LeBron's getting thrown around. He got traded for Andrew McCall on a first-round pick. And look at that. The Rockets and Spurs are the one and two seed. 
LeBron had a good year too, dropping 25, 7, and 7. LeBron's gonna lose in the second round versus Minnesota. Every time we do a LeBron video, I feel like Bronny joins his team. And they got dropped off by Brandon Miller, who dropped 45 and 17. And Victor's still a finals virgin. He just cannot get over that hump. He's been having some underperforming playoff years compared to his regular season stats, obviously. And the Wolves went ahead and won it all, man. Brandon Miller was just on a crazy run. Victor's obviously still at 99. And LeBron to 94. His son is up to 94 as well. This is tough. We have to get at least one Victor versus Bron battle in the playoffs. Scoop gets an MVP. For the first time, Victor and LeBron are both on first team. And they're the one and four seed, so they could play in the second round. Wow, Bronny outscored LeBron this year. That's crazy. And thankfully, none of them sold this second round matchup. So I guess let's see what happens. LeBron's trying to stay alive down 3-2. Victor with the ball. Gonna pass it in the corner. Getting double team. Victor for three! Oh, he knocks it down, and that should be the dagger. Wow, LeBron had a terrible playoff game here. Nine points, and Victor drops 42 and 10 to get rid of LeBron. And Victor finally gets past that conference finals hump, and he's going to play Luka and Ian Jackson. That's a tough team. Here we go. Game one, Bulls take. Game two, Bulls take. Game three, Spurs take. Game four, Spurs take. Game five, Bulls take. The Spurs respond with a blowout in game six, and Wemby's going to go ahead and get his first ring. Well, Victor, you can either win five more championships, or you can just keep Stop LeBron from winning them, and you just beat him in championships. But you know, whichever one you want to do, man, up to you to become the GOAT. And he had 25 and 13 in this closeout game. And LeBron only went up one overall. Gonna be tough to win rings as a 95, especially if this guy is gonna be in your way. Victor back to win an MVP. Both LeBron on Victor on first team. And the Spurs and Rockets, the best two teams in the league. With Bronny still outscoring LeBron. LeBron trying to stay alive in the second round, down 3 2. Bronny driving here, got the angle, kicks it to green in the corner, three ball. Got it! Tie game! Five seconds for the Kings to go to the conference finals. Howard driving on LeBron! And he throws it down in LeBron's mouth! The James family can't go out like this. Sharp got an inbound of the somebody. Give him the ball. Jabari half court! Air ball! That's a terrible way to end your playoff run. And what a rough game for LeBron. 19.6 for 18 shooting. And Victor brought himself to the finals again. And he's facing a very underwhelming Bucks team. And well, at least this Bucks team got a game, I guess. Yeah, another ring for Victor. And he averaged 27 and 13 to do it. So Victor can either win four more championships or he can prevent LeBron from winning two. I say get four more, man. It would just look nice for the resume. Another MVP for Victor. Spurs and Houston still competing hard. And Bronny isn't on this Rockets team anymore, so it's a one-man show. LeBron is one game away from facing Victor in the conference finals. Jalen cut off the screen here. Oh my god, you better make it. Big shot from Jalen Green. John trying to drive on LeBron here. Spin move going up. Missed it. Rebound. Who is that? Where? Okay. They're gonna double team here. Kick it out. LeBron. There you go. Kick to the court. Oh, you're you are lucky you made that, but that that is game. Jabari Smith carried this game, and we're gonna see LeBron versus Victor again. Here's how the teams match up with each other, just in case you were curious. And LeBron's Rockets did not put up much of a fight. They're gonna lose here in five. Wemby with 30, 12, and six. And LeBron had a solid playoff run. But if you don't get the ring, it don't matter. And that's exactly what Victor's gonna do here in six games. Wemby wins three rings for the Spurs and decides to leave and join Boston. And LeBron goes up one overall and joins the Pistons. This team really isn't that good outside of DJ. And LeBron's got a pretty balanced team. Let's see what happens here. Of course. Victor wins MVP. And I don't know why I thought this team wasn't going to be that good. They're the one seed. And uh, where is Detroit? They're the sixth seed. And LeBron had his best year yet. Almost averaging a triple double. Just point one away. But sadly, he's not getting out of the first round. Losing in seven. I mean, he can't play much better than that. 33, 19, and 11. Victor trying to get himself to the conference finals. Miller trying to drive here. Going to the basket. Hop step up. Lays it in. They got a four point lead. DJ trying to drive. Nothing there for him. Kicks it out to Garuba. That's a brick, man. You got to get the ball to your best player's hands. DJ has 43. Victor had 37, 9, and 3. Brandon Mill has been on a tear this entire video. I guess no rank for Wemby's or win for LeBron. Uh, yeah, I guess. LeBron might stop at a 97 here. We'll see, though. Victor's team didn't really get any better. And LeBron's didn't either. Look at LeBron getting an MVP. Victor didn't make first team. That's crazy. Boston and Detroit are the 1 and 2 seeds. How do these stats not make first team? I'm so confused. And we're getting another installment of LeBron versus Victor. I would say LeBron has the better team overall, but we'll see what happens. Yeah, that just didn't matter, like, at all. Yeah, that's going to be a sweep. I'm sorry, LeBron. You you gave it your all, man. Let's see if Victor gets his fourth championship against Stan McKnight, 99 overall. And it looks like that's going to be a free ring here. Yep, there you go. That is the fourth champ. He wasn't even finals MVP. That's crazy. I want to see Victor get six rings, man. He's got two left to get. And as for LeBron, those two rings were fake, bro. Yeah, we're, we're not counting those. LeBron's team looked the same, and so does Boston. LeBron trying to stack up some MVPs. Victor back on first team after that weird year. Boston and Detroit again, the one and two. And Victor had a great year dropping 26, 11, and six. We got another LeBron versus Wemby matchup. Here's the teams once again. And LeBron's going to smoke Wemby this 
this time. Okay. And Wemby at 39, 13, and 8, and lost. All right, LeBron, let's make a run here. Get your oh, you got to beat your son for a ring. That's crazy. And it looks like he's going to do it. Well, LeBron, you're not out of this yet. You're probably going to play another five, six years. You just win three of those rings, tie up Victor, maybe take the lead. You got a chance. Victor went and joined the Timberwolves, and LeBron joined the Mavs. This team's looking kind of rough. At least Victor has a superstar teammate. Victor back to getting MVPs. And wherever these guys go, they just become the best teams in the league. And LeBron had a great year, too. Come on, LeBron. Don't lose in the first round. Maxwell, three. That's just definitely off. Yeah, okay. Well, that's going to be game. Way to go, LeBron. Way to end your season like that. I guess we'll see if Victor gets his fifth ring. And he's back in the finals playing the Knicks. We have Ian Jackson and a pretty solid team around him. Well, that just, like, didn't matter at all. That's going to be a sweep. And Victor's going to get his fifth championship. He dropped 36 and 14 in this series. One more ring for Victor, and he'll officially reach GOAT status. Not like he doesn't already have nine Defensive Player of the Year awards and six MVPs. And LeBron went to the Clippers for no reason. This team's not terrible, I guess. But Victor's got Stan McKnight on his team. Victor with another MVP. And LeBron was able to bring the Clippers to the three seed. Not bad. While averaging 25, 13, and 9. LeBron's going out in the second round versus Memphis. He dropped a triple-double in Game 7. And after two tough back-to-back seven-game series for Victor, he's back in the finals versus Philly, who's a pretty mid-finals team, not gonna lie. This is for ring number Number six, so here we go. Game one, Timberwolves take. Game two, Wolves take. Game three, Sixers take. Game four, Wolves take. And game five, there is ring number six for Victor Webinyama while averaging 32, 18, and six. Victor was the first one to become the GOAT, getting six rings. Shout out LeBron for trying, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Hey, if you're still here, you might as well watch the videos in the middle of the screen right there because, I don't know, you got nothing else to do. I don't know, you're just, you're just bored on YouTube, scrolling through, whatever you got to do. And also, this video is recommended to you because they'll think you'll like it. So, um, you'll probably like it when you end up watching it for the first, like, you know, 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, just go watch it. I'm, I'm, I'm rambling at this point. Just go watch it.